Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Marvelous Dads. I'm Dave Mendonca. I am talking this way because my kid is sleeping directly in the room behind me. So that's why I'm whispering. So basically, this video is about the top five 2023 MCU projects that I want to check out. So let's get right into it. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. All right, so this is a movie that uh, director Peyton Reed wanted to be like an Avengers-level film. And guess what? He's going to get it because the big bad, Kang, is up against little Scott Lang and his band of merry people. And it should be an interesting tussle between all of these guys. So basically, uh, it looks like in the trailer, Cassie Lang did something that got them all back into the quantum realm. And actually, it looks like she got them to Chronopolis, where Kang is the main ruler. And Kang is a big baddie. And some of these trailers looks pretty intense, where Kang is telling Scott Lang he's out of his league and all that sort of thing. Peyton Reed, the director of Ant-Man, he wanted this to be like an Avengers level kind of movie, not a, a palate cleanser like the, the past two. He's going to get it. And it's it's pretty interesting to me how Scott Lang is going to go up against Kang, how him and his crew will do so. It's it's Is he going to die? Like, what's going to happen in this film? Uh, Bill Murray's in it, uh, playing a villain of some sort. Modoc is in it, another a villain. So it's going to be curious to see. I'm curious to see how they all fit together. I'm really excited to see Jonathan Majors being more of like a like a warrior Kang. Uh, will that play out in this movie? I'm not sure, but super excited about it. Secret Invasion. All right. Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson is back. And what seems to be like a paranoia thriller. Uh, ben Mendelsohn returns after being with Samuel in in Captain Marvel. And it's those two characters, Nick Fury and Talos. Apparently, the the whole plot of the story is that there are these bad scrolls. Like in Captain Marvel, what what happened was we were flipped, like the 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 rules were reversed, and it was the scrolls that were the refugees, so they were good. But now this is the version I like, bad scrolls. So apparently they've infiltrated Earth for many a year. And it's up to Talos and Nick Fury to figure out how the heck to get them out of there. So really it's like, who is who? Like who, apparently there have been uh, Avengers that have been scrolls. And this series is going to paint a picture of maybe possible Avengers that we've grown to love that are actually scrolls. If you remember in the movie, uh, Spider-Man far from home, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Maria Hill, uh, they were scrolls in that film. So that sets the precedent. Like, who else, who else are scrolls? Apparently, I think uh, Martin Freeman is in this movie. So I wonder if his character has been a scrawl. Also, Amelia Clark is in this movie and she plays, it's being reported, like the leaks say that it, she's Abigail Brand. Uh, I believe she was like the commander of S.W.O.R.D. in the comics, something like that. So I am super stoked to see what pans out in terms of how Nick Fury battles these baddies. In the comics, I believe the the scrolls were like Secret Invasion was a bigger event. So it's wild how Marvel, the MCU, they just condense these big event things into something smaller. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the ramifications are in terms of how it ties into the multiverse and all that sort of thing down the road. So super stoked, super excited, paranoia, Nick Fury, go get it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. All right, James Gunn says this is the end of the line. This is the end. This is the last iteration of this group of Guardians. So what does that mean? Who's dying? It, it, it seems like Rocket the Raccoon's going. Like Who else is going? Drax? Like What is happening here? Apparently, they are going up against the high evolutionary. This is a guy that has uh, what he does is he collects life forms and applies tech to them to make them uh, better evolved beings. So I guess he created Rocket. I, I'm not sure. So we're also going to see Adam Warlock in this movie. Curious to see what his potential is. The, the trailers I've been seeing very, uh, very much. Uh, there's a melancholy to them. There's one trailer where Chris Pratt is like screaming. Something's happening. Something's get, somebody's getting tortured. Something crazy is happening. So let's see what happens <laughs> with volume three. Uh, you know, volume, man, the movie's number three 
in in like a, a sequel series in a, in, a, in a trilogy, they're hard to nail. It's hard to stick the landing, as the MCU people like to say. I'm curious to see what happens there. And James Gunn, you know, this is his swan song before he goes over to DC fully. And I got a feeling it's not going to suck. I have a good feeling that he's going to nail down the storytelling. Rocket the raccoon apparently is a central figure. They want to complete his arc. So good on them. And I, I, I want to see what, you know, what happens with, you know, Quill and Gamora. Do they reunite? Do they get back fully as a couple? That sort of thing. And man, like going forward, they have to do more Guardians. I, whether it's with some of these guys or or a whole new batch, I think eventually we'll see more Guardians. But in, in the meantime, let's see how James Gunn goes out with a bang with these crew or this crew. So looking forward to that. Loki season two. If you've been uh, checking out my Facebook group, um, Marvelous Dad's community Facebook group, you know how much I love Loki season one. Personally, I think Loki has been the top uh, series they've had on Disney Plus MCU wise. And there's no reason why Loki two can't do something similar. So where we left off, Loki was in a universe where Kang is the ruler. He saw that statue at the end. I I have no idea what's going on. I've seen a little bit of footage but that's it. I have no idea what's going on in regards to the plot. All, all the regular characters are back. Mobius is back. Sophie's back. Loki's back. So where is the story going now? I hope the series keeps its Doctor Who-ish kind of vibe to it. The quirky, weird kind of vibes to it. And this is another opportunity for uh, Jonathan Majors to flex his muscle. Like I haven't seen any footage of him in Loki Uh, season two yet but i wonder if he is a warrior like kang or where where are we taking like where are we finding kang in in this series so are we going back in time or just i guess the current universe that um loki was sent to after season one i'm again it's jonathan major's show this is the guy who's carrying the he's got the he's shouldering everything in terms of like the villain role so what's going to happen with that so i can't wait to see it Tom Hiddleston, this guy always knocks it out of the park. So bring it on. The Marvels. Oh, man, you know what? I, I finally just discovered what some of the plot is to this film. Apparently, Carol Danvers goes in some sort of wormhole by some sort of Cree revolutionary or something like that. And as a result of going through that wormhole, she shares the powers of Ms. Marvel and... Also, uh, Monica Rambo. So that's all I know. And I have no other ideas of what's going on. So there's a lot of mystery around this project. But I am interested in seeing how that ties in with the multiverse. Like all these different stories, are they all different universes? Like these 2023 projects, are they all the same universe? I I, I can't wait because I know... That phase four, everybody was crying about how there was no connective tissue between the projects. So maybe it becomes a point where all these different universes unite in some capacity. I don't know how or what or where. So uh, the Marvels is, for me, it's just just seeing Carol Danvers and the other characters coexisting. I know uh, Monica Rambeau, there's some sort of beef with Carol Danvers and Ms. Marvel, she loves Carol Danvers. So I re- I'm really looking forward to seeing how those three hang out together and get along and how it all ties into the greater picture, uh, what uh, the, the multiverse entails and any, any sort of, you know, tips of the cap or suggestions of Kang, where, where does it go from there? So there you go. The Marvels. All right, so those are my uh, top five 2023 MCU projects I am most looking forward to checking out. Thank you so much for uh, making do with my voice being this quiet. just don't want to wake up my kids. So thanks for your patience. I hope 2023 is a a great year for you and is a great year for MCU projects. Let's hope we have some winners in phase five. Uh, Until next time, we'll see you later.